Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, today's session is FPGA Synthesis and Implementation. In this session, we are going to discuss in detail about the synthesis and implementation part as well as we will be studying different tools that are used for synthesis uh, in case of FPGA. Before that, we will discuss the clock management techniques used in FPGA. As the name indicates, there should be a proper clock management. That means the distribution of the clock signal should be proper or let us say equal to all parts of the circuit. So that is done by using clock management techniques. These techniques, clock management techniques are applicable for high speed designs as well as the designs which contains high densities. Then it provides reliable clock distribution throughout the entire system. There is one term which is H3 clock distribution. This block H3 clock distribution technique is used to make the delay same for all the elements, all the parts of the circuit. So due to using this H3 clock distribution, the delay remains same throughout the system. Some modern FPGH generates new clock signal if required and this clock signal is distributed in the system. Then clock buffers are used many times. These clock buffers are dynamic devices so they are used to dynamically enable or disable the clock signal applied to the particular part of the circuit. There are clock enable options as the name indicates using these options we can enable the clock signals or disable the clock signals so it is used to reduce the power consumption. Now two more uh, devices we, we will be using as far as this clock management techniques are concerned what is phase lock loop that is PLL. You have studied PLL in earlier subjects presently this is the block diagram uh, how the PLL is implemented used for the clock management in case of FPGA. So PLL generates internal clock it generates high frequency clock from the external clock it provides frequency multiplication this is very important part of the PLL it provides frequency multiplication so we can generate the clock signals uh, at the faster or slower speeds depending on the requirement then it is used to synchronize different blocks of the circuit as I said this is the block diagram reference clock is applied as one of the input to the PLL output of PLL is applied to the clock distribution network as the name indicates this clock distribution network is used to distribute the clock signals to various parts of the circuit one output of this clock distribution network is applied back to the input side this signal this frequency is used to lock the PLL device similar to PLL we have DLL that is delay locked or uh, delay locked loop. So it aligns the output clock pulse with the reference clock pulse. So this is about the clock management techniques used in FPGA. The next part is FPGA synthesis and implementation. From the exam point of view, you may expect the question like this. Describe synthesis and implementation of FPGA or explain in detail the steps required for synthesis and implementation. First part is synthesis. Synthesis means this step translates HDL code to the hardware and it provides the complete net list. The meaning of word, this word net list, it is the device net list. Net list means it provides a complete circuit with logical elements. Logical elements contains a uh, number of logical gates used, the number of flip flops, and so on. Then, if there are, if the circuit is large one, and if there are many blocks, then it provides the details of each block. That means it generates the net list of each block separately. Then it also this step synthesis also checks the code syntax. If there are any syntax errors, then it is checked in this uh, step. Then it analyzes the circuit hierarchy and gives hardware estimation. Next part is implementation. In implementation, there are three major steps. First is translate. In this step, 
all the netlists are combined just now i explained netlist means it provides the complete circuit with all the uh, logical elements so it combines all netlist and sell as ngd that is native generic database file so it modifies ucf ucf means user constraint file this UCF user constraints files assigns ports to the physical elements. So in this uh, step, translate means it is used to modify the UCF, which is used to assign different ports to the physical devices. Then second step is mapping or map. So circuit is divided into number of sub blocks. A physical constraint file is generated and a map report is generated that is not mr dot mrp file is generated this file informs about the logic and the percentage of clbs used by that particular block then third step is place and route as the name indicates it places sub blocks into the logical blocks and then connects all the logical blocks the static timing analysis which is abbreviated as HTA the static timing analysis that is HTA is performed during place and route uh, process and it is applicable for the calculation of delay so this is synthesis and implementation process after implementation after completion of this step the design is loaded in FPGA and it is converted into dot uh, bit file the next part is simulation and synthesis tools. From the exam point of view, you may expect the short notes related to this part. So first we will discuss some important simulation tools. These simulation tools are useful for checking the functions of the logical circuits. So first simulation tool is LDAC Active HDL. It is full HDL and graphic design tool. It is basically RTL and gate level simulator and it verifies VHDL, Verilog and ADIF page designs. So I have written uh, some important points related to each and every uh, tool. Second is Mentor Graphic Questa Advanced Simulator. So it provides global compiler and simulation optimization algorithm. It is used for verifying Verilog and VHDL. It supports almost all designing languages. It partitions the design to run in parallel, but it makes use of a single database for the debugging purpose. Third is model sim HDL. It provides optimized direct compiler for faster compiler time. Then it provides mixed language simulation and platform independent compilation. Its features includes, major features includes performance analysis, then code conversion and waveform comparison. Then fourth important simulation tool is Candence Incisive. It supports gate level and RTL design and it evaluates multiple faults and supports VHDL Verilog and System Verilog. Now let us discuss some important synthesis tools. First is FPGA Express. It is basically a PC based tool used for logic synthesis and optimization. It creates netlists. We already discussed what is what are the netlists and so on. It creates netlists for VHDL Verilog HDL code. Second is Linardo Spectrum. It is high level design tool for CP DL and FPGA. It has some certain tools which can capture VHDL and Verilog entries then it is useful for debugging operation then for timing analysis then it places and routes and it is also used for schematic viewing. Third is Altera Max Plus 2. So it is multiple array matrix programmable logic user system 2. It provides complete design environment to adopt a required or specific uh, design changes. We can easily enter the design as well as it is fast processing tool. It offers full spectrum of logic de design capabilities and we can read or write VHDL and Verilog netlist files. So dear students, 
that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video